I was testing an 84, 84 or 85. Uh, 84. That's the one I tested. Oh, I'll get about level 109 that hits the level 51s. Oh no, I, I never, I never did that. Uh, I like, <laughs> I, I like a challenge. If I, besides nowadays, you at times when you are watching some people get hit. There are bases level 70 that looks to me like old level 50s because they don't even have the walls or or the turrets or or the structures that normally uh, a base of that type should have. But well, in this game, uh, the more the games last, the more easy to is to le um, level up. I don't know, level 50 is now not the 50 anymore; it's a 70 or an 80. So. It makes me laugh at times when people complain about that they are 50 and they are getting hit by higher because that always happened about. I always try to hit higher than me. I get hit higher than me, but it's nice that I can run away with a rhino and still kill their, their second to last uh, vendetta. I had uh, a big repair, but it was fun doing it. What's he saying now? Mega Hull Riv. It's only a dock repair, really. And then half repair. You're looking at four or five hours. I don't mind that. Yeah, I just like the fact that I can get my own uranium and my own um, base parts now. I will say, when you was trying to do the um, campaign, Keep moving with your follows. You don't do yourself justice if you sit stagnant because you're, you're welcoming more damage. Yeah. Keep running all the time. Hit and move. The only problem I find with that is it don't kill the turret off, so I have to go back and get the turret finished, and I get more damage going back. Get more, you get more damage by sitting there because um, you're an easy target. Yeah. Yeah, that's a mistake that many people do. If you move, uh, get in mind that, for example, those frosty things, they don't keep doing you the damage because you move and you move away from them. If you sit there. They do the damage to you all the time till the, they vanish. I'll learn. You've got to bear in mind though that I haven't done a campaign for so long, I'm still about six behind. Yeah, and the campaigns is the other thing that in the campaigns, since people is so used to, um, to get help it in, in the raids, they don't know how to hit the targets or so when they have to deal with them by themselves and nobody can prep them, they they find that since they didn't do the raid, uh, they have no idea how to hit them. Yeah. On the subject of campaigns, I had to go at um, Snowfall Mastery earlier, and the very last level, the sub that's hiding in there is fitted with a new torpedo. No, that's that's the big sub you mean, right? The, yeah, it, it was shooting the new torpedoes at me. It's similar, but it, it was not that But It was a tough uh, torpedo because that one follows you. And the old torpedo, uh, that old torpedo there follows you because you can move away and he will uh, chase you. Yeah, it, you it just that. looked very much like that new fire yeah. torpedo. When I first saw the fire twister, I thought it was that one. But if you look at that one, or you play that campaign anymore, you will see that if you move away from that from the kraken, you will see that that tor chases you. And uh, I tell you, the twister tor doesn't do that. No, it's just dumbfounded, isn't it? Dumbfounded. Yeah. But I just saw it kill the kraken. Kill the kraken was very easy. Uh, you could do it with two mastodons. We, uh, that's the way we were doing two mastodons. We were putting. To Zergs and, and the Frostborn to spot it, 
Ah, uh, while you were spotting it, it was a moment to kill it. Yeah, no, I only did it did it once just to do it for the um, R and D stuff. But when it fired that torpedo, I was like, "Hang on a minute! They haven't been out that long to be in the campaign." No, 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 campaign. I, I I did that raid because that raid was before I I left the game, and I can tell you that that tour has always been in that kraken. Yeah, as you. Yeah. Oh, I, I must have it's, got it confused because it just, it did look like it was the twister tour. It's a big red no, no, one. It's, yeah, it's it's a red. Uh, it was a black one with a red uh, something on, on it, but it has been there for a long, long while because uh, it was already on the target. Likely that I don't know if it the. Uh, because I only did a snowfall once, like you, to, to for the R and D. Because I already have all the blueprints that it was offering to me, and I don't have an interest in the, on the proto mastodon. But at least the original, when you when the kraken is all underwater, it will shot to you like little missiles that come you all your way, and when they just they get to you, the they leave uh, a patch of frost on, on the water. I don't know if the in the campaign, it keeps doing it. Well, I did it with sub uh, on that level, so I literally surfaced. It shot one. I went back down, and I didn't see anything else. But it was—I just saw that one talk, and I thought, "Hang on a minute." I know I did. It's no fault. I did it with uh, the Renos and the the Punisher. And because of the radioactive damage that is there, I put the Highlander, so I could get the, that extra resistance. It's a graphical yeah. wearer, that's all that is. Yeah, I ain't got no graphical... Yeah, could... I ain't got no, um, what you call it, Savage Kodiak yet. That's what I plan to get. You, you should get one, because it will help you in the Forsaken mission and in many other targets. If you drive well... A two oh, no. and I'd map repair on each target. Four Apollos, I was map repair. I think that's about three or four minutes. The last target, I had about eight minutes, but then no, I don't mind that. You said that you were in two forces. We are. Two, four, six, yeah. Okay, I have to keep scrolling one a bit more. Two, four, five right now. That's horrible scrolling map like that, innit? Gives me an headache scrolling map like that. It's annoying though, because um, you've got a uh, limited friends list now, you can't actually go to where, wherever you want. Yeah. Are you relocating your base car or just sending the fleet over? No, I, I, I'm not relocating. I, I already did uh, this week. I'm going to say, cause if you want to find where G is, I can meet you at a relay tower and you can follow us up. I, I, at the moment, I am in the in the, the right tower center. Oh, I'm going to launch a fleet. North Tower does, isn't it? I think we are North Tower. I think he's coming to smash my base, you know. <laughs> That's alright, I'm helping him. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind, I need to see how my vendetta is the... Yeah, North Tower. I was going to say, it'll be near, yeah. nearly my tea time now, so if you're on it my base, I'll be, uh, <laughs> I'll be ending stream and then I'll be gone for my tea. <laughs> nah, I... I... I will not hit you while you're streaming. You're safe. Yeah, you're right. Do it, do it straight after you finish. <laughs> He's going to the 24 hours of stream now. Yeah, it's 24 hours stream now. No, it's a 7 day stream now. It's a 31 day stream now. <laughs> until uh, he can't hit me then. Until the rain days. starts. Yeah, until the rain starts. Then he can't hit me then. Well, he will. He might. Well, I don't know. Yeah, he hit you just as the rain starts. He changed his name and then it, yeah. If you let me know when you're at the North Tower, then I'll send the fleet home and you can find his base. 
Ah, JZ, I just need to find uh, the 60 he's hit. No, so yeah, the 60 he's hitting and I find him. Yeah. Well, his base is north of the North Tower anyway. How far are you along with your fleet, Jay? Which one? Which fleet? Punishers. No, Wife said hello. I, uh... I just found uh, SpongeBob Apollo's side in the tower. Wait, you found them? What? They're on their they way were, over. They're on their way to G's base. Yeah, I'm not far now. But 17 seconds with those Apollos to G's. G Daddy, level 18, 88, 89, yeah, level 89. Yeah, just, just one level below mine. You can peek my base if you like, I don't mind. I'll peek see, your base. See if I'm doing it right or doing it wrong. Oh, I'm not there with any fleet, I just came my, uh, scrolling to find if I could see him. But it'd have been easy. Okay, yeah. My base is slightly south of there. Yeah. No, it'd just be nice to know if I'm building right now, that's all. I need a lot of um, turrets uh, refitting or proper weapons anyway. Yeah, I, I think we are all on the same spot, uh, refitting turrets and and building and preparing things. Is I need to still to work, for example, on my base defense, uh, the, the ward, because I have the bank issue, but I have not finished it yet. I don't have a gamma, so I need to put something with countermeasures to stop a bit more the mortars. Yeah, I've got a vanquisher, a vendor, Detta, a rhino, a Aegis, and a re revenge. That's an interesting defense. But they all retarget off the. Um... I don't know. Well, the, the main thing that you have to look at most of the times is that you don't have the ships in front of the turrets. Because if not, the people line for the turrets and the splash will kill your ships. Yeah. Right. I've got them all retargeting off the vanquisher. Uh, yeah, a Mancusher can be easy to kill because well, it has 500,000, but those missiles, for example, do a lot of damage. And the remote retargeting, at times, depending on what you have your Mancusher, is more a problem than any other thing because you know that it will last so much and that splash will do so much damage around that will be crazy. That's why I put it up front so I can reach target off the rest. I can always move a fleet if I've been hit while I'm online. And you cannot move a Vanquisher, it doesn't move. Alright, Goliath, man, I'll take it easy and uh, come back and see us sometime, yeah? But then, I don't mind. Yeah. I'm learning on, on the game. It's nice to actually have a card. Normally, I don't have one and I'm just like a farm. Yeah, it's always good to have... Uh, a guard that at least if somebody's going to hit you, he has to get some pain, you know? Yeah, I, I killed. Uh, and I nowadays killed. With, with the easy that is easy to repair, with that 50% bonus you get, to repair... Exactly, and if I put a gross monkey on, it's even better. Yeah. Base mines are finishing soon. Another 26 minutes before they come again. But my god, I don't want to use armor because there's no point. I'd rather have a cheaper repair and at least I know it's ready for the next time they hit me. Yeah, and for example, in the bank, you should put the armor, is, unless you are looking for some more bait, it's pointless because you, what do you get? 10,000 or 20,000 more armor?